Hi guys, welcome back. I wanted to show you a couple things and talk about a few things um, that are not really of the combat sort, but check out this little squirrel. Isn't he adorable? Oh, how cute. Still having a little bit of lag that I never had before. Unusual squirrel. Isn't he so cute? He's actually part of a quest. He's uh, uh, He was turned into a squirrel. I don't remember how, but uh, one of your quests is to go around finding unusual squirrels and unusual deer and uh, transforming them back into their human selves, which is kind of funny. Why's he got glowy eyes? He looks like he's been dipped in Mako. Anyway, uh, so I'm a rogue class, and in this game, you can be a wide variety of uh, types of rogues. There's the marksman type rogue, the ranger type rogue, you know, with the, the, the you know, with the pets, and uh, the, the bow and arrow, and, and the ranged combat type of thing. And then I basically tried to go for the standard um, rogue build, which is two-handed, uh, dual-wielding type of direct damage, close-up melee um, rogue. And a little bit of Rift Stalker thrown in there, which is just kind of neat. It allows me to teleport. I can do a little quick getaway. Zoom. I just teleported like, whoa. Ha, <laughs> that was so... Hmm, that was so delayed. I'm a little bit concerned about how well these are going to turn out. How well these uh, videos are going to turn out. Especially if I'm trying to show you a rift and I'm actually getting lag. And and I checked, um, I checked my programs running in the background and there's really no excuse for it. I guess I can take this guy one on one. Ah, no! So... Oh, well, he's gonna help, too. Okay. And the goal of a rogue is to collect those counters, which are skulls, up there around the enemy's portrait. And then, uh, depending on how many skulls, how many counters you have, how many points, whatever you want to call it, um, that will let you use a finishing move. I have a variety of finishing moves that I could use that deal that do different things. One of them does damage over time, which is more damage, of course. Another one does a lot of damage and it increases my uh, dodge chance, which is what I went really heavily towards. I basically have very little health, but I have an extremely high chance of dodge. So that's just the kind of Thing that I went with. Dang it, I don't have mining 35 yet. Grr, copper, I'll be back for you. Um, and and then uh, one of the finishing moves, I can deal damage to um, multiple enemies, etc, etc. And then depending on how many points you have, uh, counter points you have on the enemy, will increase the effectiveness of the finishing blow. Pretty state, uh, straightforward. If you've played, you know, an MMO4, if you played any RPGs before fantasy RPGs, and you're probably familiar with that concept. It's very common. Um, what else is there? Uh, so I wear leather armor. I think I could wear. I think I could wear probably other than leather armor, but I don't. I chose armor, or I chose leather. And, uh, hmm, let's see if there's anything interesting going on. I meant to participate in that rift. Oh, looks like I... Oh, this, okay, the Mirror of Ages. That sounds like a good uh, good place to go. A good a place as any. Really not digging this lag. Really not. It's very subtle, but it's enough that I feel like... Uh, hmm. Kind of like when you're walking around and you have something on your shoe because you stepped on gum or something like that. And it's so subtle and it really doesn't hinder your moving, but you just, you're so familiar with walking that it just feels different and it drives you crazy. These people are chilling here. Uh, yay, tin! I can mine tin. Nobody else is going for it, right? That means it's mine. Hooray! Can mine the tin. I'm trying to get to 35 so I can get to, uh, mine copper. Uh, right, so being a melee class, I don't have any buffs that I can give people. Oh, wait. Oh, yes I do. I have one. I have this one. It increases dexterity by 10, and dexterity is something that contributes to your dodge chance. We're just gonna ignore all these baddies out here. Mirror defilers. Humph. 
And we're just gonna go right down inside this log. And we're going to cleanse the altar. There's a bunch of altars that need cleansing. One of eight. Oh, something else we needed to do. It's praying at, uh, what did, what did they call this? Spirit guide! Oh, it's so cute! It's a little deer! It's a deer with a longer tail. Looks like a little fox tail. That is so cute. It's like Bambi, but adorableness times ten. I'm glad to see you here, Roseblade, seeking the wisdom of the gods in the shadow of this ancient tree. The elf war have committed a grave offense in this grove, and only you can correct it. Really? Like the ten other people I saw outside the tree couldn't correct it? Because it looked like they were correcting it. Just saying. The elf war have turned from the gods. In their fervor, they have allowed a seed of disease to sprout within them, staining all they touch. My shrines have become corrupt, and as Hylas's power grows, my light in these wood dwindles. Oh no! Your light dwindles? That is not acceptable. Another really cool thing about the game, I think I might have mentioned this before, I'm a, I must be losing my memory, is that if you uh, select a target, it will tell you Oops, it'll tell you in that little pop-up right there if you need it or not for a quest. And I do. Whoops, I think that guy might have been... Oh well, I got the jump on him, I guess. Range attack for the win! And... I'm just gonna load him up with dots. Or I mean load him up with counters. Finishing attack. Which doesn't actually finish him. It'll only finish him once. You know, because it's like the final, right? Oh well. So I need to kill 12 of these, and I need to get- I need to make my way over to those shrines. Which looks like it'll be pretty easy because it's uh, there are a lot of people on the server. You know what? That totally- I don't know why I didn't think of that before, but that totally explains why there's so much lag, doesn't it? There- it's an open beta now, so that's probably why. You know what, if he wants to take that guy on, power to him. Well, I guess I can help. I'll be a friendly neighborhood rogue. Rogue. Oh, boo. I wanted to do that. I guess I have to wait a little bit. Well, there's another one up there. Anyways, uh, this is just gonna be me questing for a little bit, and I'll probably just keep fraps on in the background so that uh, I can record something interesting if it happens to come up. Oh! How dare you! That's so rude! I was in the middle of commentating! Hello? Don't you have any, uh, any respect for commentary? Whatsoever? You know what you need? You need a false blade in your face. That's what you need. And a reprisal. That's exactly what you need. Shame on you. I hope you learn your lesson. Oh wow, this guy's pretty- uh oh. Oh no! This is- could be bad. Alright, let's sidestep. Increases my dodge chance by a lot for a little bit. This does a lot of damage. That does a lot of damage. False blade because it increases my dodge chance even more. And this guy doesn't stand a chance. Oh, look at all the reprisals I'm getting. Yay! Reprisal is a very uh, interesting, very good attack that I put some points into. Let me find it. Reprisal... Here it is. Here it is. A powerful attack that deals weapon damage plus 24 to 27 physical damage. It never misses, cannot be parried or dodged. It's usable after parrying or dodging an enemy's attack, which is great for me because I have super high dodge chance, which means it's going to trigger this attack, it's going to tr trigger this ability all the time constantly. Especially if I get in a pinch. I need to cleanse this. Why are you not sparkling? Why are you not sparkling? Why am I lagging? Why? Why? Oh. Why are you not sparkling? One of twelve. Well, fine. If that's the way that it's gotta be. Is that copper? Urgh, curse you copper. I can't collect you yet. I don't actually think that, um... Oh, hey, here's one that I can touch. Yay! Altar of Tavril! Well, uh, maybe the... I doubt it, but maybe the lag will die down a bit um, later in the day. Probably not, since it's literally an hour and 19 minutes after the start. It's probably going to get, you know, increased um, population, server population, the later the day goes. So, 
Um, <laughs> maybe I should hold off my videos for today and just kind of wait for the lag to die down. So, anyway, guys, I'll see you later. I have some defilers to kill. Alright guys, I just wanted to make a note, alright, before, uh, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna address this before it even happens. I do a combination, before I get asked, before it even gets brought up or anything, I do a combination of clicking and number, number barring. So, um, since I, I haven't played this in a while, since, uh, it hasn't been in beta for right now, start of the new session, I've been using, uh, I've been using my mouse. I've been clicking. I've been a clicker. Oh no, that's so horrible. It's the worst thing you could ever imagine, right? Well, um, actually, what I, what I really do, whoops. Oh no, I lost my target. That's not good. Uh, what I actually do is a combination of clicking and, um, using the hotkeys. So, usually, I will use the numbers for the bottom row, obviously. And uh, I will use the mouse for the top row. It's really hard to keep up with what's going on because... Because uh, of the lag. Anyway, if I need to use something up here, I will use my mouse to click it. Just because it's more convenient to me and it's faster than reaching over with my pinky. Because my pinky finger is not very dexterous for being a gamer. Ooh, I need that! I need that! You're glowing! You're glittering just for me! Yay! No! Oh, that guy. Oh, whoops. Did he need it? Whoops. I didn't even see him there. Didn't see him. Guys, didn't. Um, right. So, anyways, because I'm still getting warmed up and reused to the class, I was using my mouse. So I don't want to hear anything about it. I don't want to hear anything about it. So, that is that. And also, it's the same for, um, it's the same and, and probably even more so for my Archon uh, casting class that I use the numbers. I do not typically use the mouse unless I'm in really big trouble. If I'm in like really big trouble and my group is dying, you'll probably see me starting to use the mouse a little bit more because I feel more confident doing that. Um, but yeah, that's that. That's that. Alright guys, I just cleansed my last altar, so I'm done with that one. And I think I might need to stop lagging. Come on, stop lagging please. I would prefer to stop lagging at any moment. Oh, I don't I can't talk with him yet. My spirit guide friend. Cause I still need to kill three more defilers! Defilers! You will defile no more! Your defiling days are over! Take that! And that! I can take you if I can get close enough without lagging horribly and causing my death. I'm not afraid of you. Take that. And let's just use, I guess, my more powerful attacks. And, and dead. I guess just, I don't know why, but for some reason I don't like to use my finishing moves unless I have. Oh, nice job, you just trained. But since I'm a nice person, I'll help you out. I will help you. And I might actually get credit for this person because I don't think she did any damage to it. Uh, it might be a little bit hard to keep up with. I think it. I don't know why he changes my target every time I use reprisal. It'll it um. It changes my target. Or it 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 untargets him from me. All right, I need one more defiler. You you look like a defiler. I will smote thee. Smoting in progress. Do not interrupt. Smoting. Oh, whoops. I don't have my action bar locked. Oh no, shame on me. Toast. Alright. Now we can talk to our little fawn friend. Oh, little fawn friend. You're so cute with your little fox tail. Ridding the Mirror of Ages of the Mirror Defilers honors the Vigil. Well, I'm glad to hear that. As long as there are believers in this world, there is still hope. I'm a believer! You can trust in me, little Bambi cutesy thing. Prince Hylas in exchange for the, ro for the loyalty- Oh no, I didn't read it all! Oh gosh! What am I gonna do? 
I didn't... Oh. Okay. Apparently I need to summon him again. It. Summon it again. Oh! Receive the power gift from Twill. Such a gift was not meant for the fickle hands of that treacherous elf. Take this token, may it reveal the truth of Prince Hyla's fall. This is actually a main part of the story. It's not it's not main storyline, but it's a pretty heavy part of the story. Want you to deliver Tavril Seed Lane 2. In exchange for loyalty of the house of Asian, receive a power of a gift from Twill. We're gonna hear more about Twill later. Because I'm going to be running you guys through um I'm hmm. done here, so I can just kinda run. Sprint! Um, I'm gonna be running you guys through Realm of the Fey, which is the name of uh, the first dungeon that's available here in the game at this level. I'm pretty decent level for it right now. Probably even a little bit... L eh, I don't know if l any lower than 17 would be acceptable. Um, it's probably doable. I mean, because I don't want a million messages of people telling me I did it when I was 15 because I'm uber awesome. But... Um, for a, for a standard group, I wouldn't say any lower than 17, probably. Where am I going? Oh. Oh, like my friend just told me, it's not the fall that kills you, it's the sudden stop at the end. He loves to jump off of cliffs. So, I think I may have been wrong about the night sky thing. Um, either that or they might have changed it. One of the two, because it's now dark, and it's not actually dark out. I think that'd be kind of a neat little realistic touch if it were night when it was actually night. But then that wouldn't really make sense to people who were in a different, like, completely different time zone than me. Like maybe, uh, European people? Players? They might have their own servers, though, I think. Not sure. Anyway, what I've been trying to say is that I want to run you guys through Realm of the Fae. If only I can get a really good group. I have a couple people who can help me. So... That should be fine. I already have a tank in mind, my friend Lai. And I already have uh, a healer in mind, who's a very good healer. And basically, I'm going to be the DPS on, uh, on Snow Lily, the casting Archon person. Sometimes goes uh, Stormcaller, which probably goes Stormcaller role while, I, while we're doing that. And we just basically need to pick up one or two other uh, DPS or some sort like that. And then we'll be ready, but I don't want to be doing it while having this crazy amount of, of, of lag. So you can look forward to that. It's actually really neat. I like, uh, I like it a lot. Yeah, I like it a lot.